Well, the catastrophic disaster on the 26th of December 2004 was triggered by one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded. But what caused the quake and why was it so destructive? Shaida Othman explains. To understand the scale of the disaster, we need to look at the forces beneath our feet. The tsunami was caused by the movement of tectonic plates. The Earth's surface is made up of large plates that float on molten rock. Now, these plates are constantly moving, and where they meet, powerful forces are at work. The 2004 earthquake occurred along the boundary between two of these plates. Over time, stress built up as the plates pushed against each other. Eventually, when that stress became too great, nature's fury was unleashed. The resulting release of energy was catastrophic. It displaced huge volumes of water, triggering the deadly tsunami waves that followed. Understanding how it happened is key to preventing future disasters. Scientists study tectonic activity to identify earthquake-prone areas and improve early warning systems. While we cannot predict exactly when a major earthquake will strike, knowing which regions are most vulnerable can help authorities issue timely warnings. This gives people crucial time to evacuate and prepare, which can mean the difference between life and death. Thanks to advances in technology and better public education, we're now better equipped to respond more quickly in the event of another major earthquake. And knowing the signs behind these events is vital in making sure the tragedy of 2004 never repeats.